Hello everyone, Fire Breather here once again with uh, Clash of Clans. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about battles and clan management. If you're the leader of a clan, of course you want to attract clan members. Uh, the first way to do this, of course, is get some of your friends to play uh, if you can. Some can, some can't. And One way you can also attract members is to go over here into global chat. Uh, if you'll look, you'll see a lot of people saying, join us, join us, free elder, whatever. I don't offer free anything. Try not to, anyway. <laughs> but uh, that's not an easy way. If you look at people asking for you to join during a silver league or gold league, uh, where you're really going to attract people is if you are in at least the crystal league, master league. That's going to attract more clan members, potential clan members. Uh, so don't worry about it if you can't attract too many right at first. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I mean, it kind of is. You want members to come to your clan, of course. Um, I talked in the earlier video about upgrading your resources like your gold mines and elixir collectors. This is important uh, if you're managing a clan so that you can have plenty of troops. Uh, you want to have as much elixir as you can to build your troops up so that you can donate to your clan. See, they ask for donations and you can donate to them. You can see here I've donated 329 troops already. Um, but in assessing who you want in, in your clan, you can also look at their profile. Uh, for example, you look at, well, you look at my profile, it will tell you up here how many attacks I've won. i got 39 defenses, troops donated, troops received. This is how you can tell how active someone is. All right, now I'm going to show you a multiplayer attack. Uh, if you, depending on your goals, uh, you, you look for different things. For example, I have a lot of elixir right now, but not too much gold. I used a lot of it in upgrading my walls earlier. So let's go down here, we're going to go to attack. Now if you want, you can do the single player goblin attacks. You'll see it tells you how much down here you'll get. That's 20,000 uh, gold and elixir. And as you go all the way down to the bottom, once you get to there, you're at 800,000. I imagine that would be a pretty hard attack. But let's concentrate on multiplayer right now. If you look, it costs 380 gold right now for me. It won't for you as you're starting out. But at this point, it costs me 380 to find a match. Now. We're going to find a match. And you may not like it. You don't have to accept the first match it gives you. Um, you'll look over here, see the button? 380 to go next, and it'll give me another base to attack. Now, I look up here. They've only got 7,000, some uh, gold and elixir. I'll get 15 trophies. If I win, if I lose, I'll lose 29 trophies. Now, again, if I was doing a goblin attack and they had a lot of loot, I wouldn't care about losing the trophies. I'd want that loot. They ain't got a lot of loot, so let's click next. Or tap next if you're on a mobile device. I'm on a PC. I'm using a BlueStacks app player. Uh, now this one has 100,000 in elixir. Now this is kind of tempting, but they only have 55,000 in gold, and I can just stand off on the side and take a lot of this. If you look uh, at their collector, or I mean, excuse me, their storage. Here's their main storage. They ain't got a lot in there, so it tells me a lot of it's probably out here in the mines. 59,000. Down here, of course, it'll tell you what troops you have to attack with. These are the ones I usually use. I try to use a healer. But if you use a healer, look out for these air defenses. You need to take those out first if you're using a healer. Um, the alternative to using a healer is using a healing potion. And those air defenses can't attack your healing potion, but they'll attack anything in the air like dragons and healers. But that's a little bit about multiplayer, what you can uh, do there, and what your goals could be with multiplayer. Now about uh, troop donations, especially if you're uh, the leader of the clan, you want to donate troops, you want to keep your uh, clan members happy. Uh, so you can request troops over here at the clan castle. I usually just say anything because sometimes it's hard to get donations. These are the troops that you'll use during multiplayer when you go on the attack. If you get anybody that will donate troops to you, you can click on your clan castle down in the line of things you can use to attack with and those troops will come out and attack during multiplayer. These troops will also defend your base when you log off, you're offline, you're not playing the game and somebody comes in multiplayer to attack your base, those troops will come out to defend your base. But now there's something else that is different from all of that. We're going to go over here to the battle. Okay, we're in preparation day. This is our battle map and uh, this is the members of our clan. What you need to do, what I encourage everybody to do, and they, it's kind of confusing, they don't understand this, is click on or tap on the player and you can donate troops here to their clan castle. 
what this does, and you can do it for every member of the clan. Every single, they don't have to request it. You just go on the clan map and donate to every member. These troops will come out and defend their bases during the clan war. Not during multiplayer, but during clan war. If you don't donate troops here, troops will not come out of the clan castle to defend the bases during a clan war. So this is very important. So donate troops here. Please do that. You can also edit your war base. See down here? Your war base can be different from your home village base. For example, you saw my home village base, I had my town hall outside the walls of my base. Now I don't want that for my war base, so I'd put it differently. In my war base, I've got my town hall well within inside the walls of my base to give me the best chance to possible at defense, at not losing a battle when someone attacks me during the clan war. Now another thing you can do, especially when you're the leader of a clan and you want to assess how active your members are, this is a good place to look up here at this little blue square with a white star. Click on that and it will show you how many attacks from your players have been used. You've got two attacks per clan war. And you can tell how active your players are by seeing whether they've used any attacks at all, one attack or both attacks. You can look at your clan, you can look at the enemy clan, and there'll be more tabs up here on battle day. But you just click on your clan, click on the star, your clan, see how many attacks that they've used. And that's a good way to tell uh, how active your clan members are, along with looking at their profile and um, seeing how many attacks they've won, troops donated. I let them stay even if they have received troops. I mean, if they're active at all, sometimes I just let them stay in the clan. I'm not going to kick them out for being that inactive, especially since, you know, I'm only on level 54. Um, I'm, I'm level 1 silver right now, so I'm not in, in the Master League or Crystal or anything like that, so I'm not going to be that strict on it. But anyway, that's... Uh, a little bit about battles and clan management. Thanks for watching.